Well, I can only scan that, okay, scan that from my uh, all the functions. Anyway, that's a very important, very important component of this task. Or for editing, you have to understand that and learning and know and think. Where are the major things are, right? You don't know where these are. What is geography? What is geography? Last time somebody gave me a good answer. Who was that? Can you raise your hand again? Who gave me a good answer? What was geography last time? What is geography? She's missing. I know it's good. Stop my class. You did it? No, I didn't have I didn't have to watch my answer. Okay, you do my answer? Good. Spatial and time. And a time. Okay, spatial and time. What do we do as the office? What do you expect I do in my office? What do you expect I do in my office? Taking naps? Yes. Making maps. Okay, I'm making maps. That's right. Okay. Making maps. Good. In the air? The father thing, yes, I try to map, right? Then we look at the topography that's our geography, right? The G, that big G, that G O, right? That's G O. And then we look at the cultural culture aspect. What do you mean culture, by the way? What do you mean culture? Good. What do they do? Right? What things they inherit from their past? Yes. Their belief. Their belief. Their religion. Their belief. Right? Yes. Anything else? Yes. Philosophy. Good. Anything else? Art. Art. Yes. Food. Food. Yes. Language. Economy? Government? <laughs> what not culture then, man? Yeah? Culture. Right? We call it America is just very pop, right? Building what? Building culture. Right? So everything is part of culture. If you define culture broadly. What is not culture? Earth. Earth is not part of culture, right? The fifth environment is not part of culture. Beyond that, everything else is part of the culture. Could be something invisible. Could be something visible. You can see. Could be something you can touch. Could be something you never see. Right? So that we saw we have two types of, you know, could be a way of a living, right? This lifestyle is part of culture. Is it part of culture? Yes. Is it part of the part of culture? Yes. Yeah. Because Earth can be equal to Earth and the shape of the Earth is not part of culture. Earth is not part of culture. That's what I said. It's only something to do with culture. Okay? So, culture could be defined merely simply related to, in most of your things, culture, 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 things, culture, 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 Part of culture. But building, city is a part of culture too. Is it right? Is it? Yeah. yeah. That's why a lot of people say architects, the few architects are the, what, what kind of, the solid historic part, right? So if you go to European city, you see lots of historic buildings. Are those part of culture? Yeah. Yeah. You go to London, you see there's two day out. A different from LA. How they differ from LA? Smaller, narrower, right? Wander around, um, right? <laughs> Never saw the big, 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 like we have eight, ten men. So, you know, crazy street, right? And this not for the street, right? It represents what kind of culture. So, we do offer study culture. Yeah, sure. So, how do you draw concept? We stop everything. That's, that's why everybody can be a geologist. 
you are for a job. Okay? The only thing, only the people from the job the department, they are just. You are job. Okay? You are the people for an end job. Everybody is for a lucky star and two. Am I right? You're living history. <coughs> You're living history. Everybody, you have history. You have history. history. Your country has history. Your neighborhood is history. If you understand that, you become a historian. You become a history place. Okay? The geography and the history, time and the space, they're interwined with each other. Those two dimensions cannot be separate from anything you see, anything you eat, anything you do. Okay? And from that, you ask lots of different questions. So, what the question and geography would ask? How our questions are different from the question asked by economists, for example, or by a historian, okay? What is it by uh, environmentalists? Not environmentalists, environmental scientists, okay? Right? How that would be different from somebody from anthropology? <laughs> what do you think? We would study culture, every social behavior, right? You can only study culture, part of culture. That's why we didn't have humanity, have socialist behavior science, right? How oh, they're different. The people, oh, they're different from each other. How are we different from, how is you are different from those disciplines? Yes, what's your name? Um, sir, Dylan. Uh, good? Dylan. Dylan. Oh, sir, yes. Yeah. Well, geographer is asked, like, where, just like, uh, pretty much where I see it. Like, for example, you ask where these people are learning how to survive. Like, a lot of languages in the Middle East are, uh, derived within each other because they're separate, separated from the land. And geographers take that into aspect. Geographers start with what? Where? Where? Geographers start with? Where? Historians start with? When? So we we'll always ask the things related to where? Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. What's the name of math? Math, yes. I know you're math. In truth, you may know you're math. Believe me or not? Uh, yes, I believe. So, um, yeah, I was going to say it's just more regional. The character is more just like studying the region. Start the region. We want to know what's going on in which place, right? We want to know what's going on in China. Why we can't we take this inside? Right? Because most of you know little or nothing about China. That's why you can't get to the China class. You want to know the country. You want to know Africa. You want to know why Iraq and Iran, right? They have, you know, those kind of things. Why New Zealand is fighting with Pakistan, right? Why the oil, you know, not the Sahara, those African, you know, have dead. Okay? Why is the, the Japanese revolution is occurring in those countries? Right? Why, you know, after so many years of, you know, freedom, South Africa suddenly is killing their own people. Do you want to understand that? You do. So we want to understand a specific place, the region, country, city. Okay? And then what else we do as geographers? What else we do? Record data. Huh? Record data. Record data? Yeah, man, that's a force. <laughs> I don't want to do that. That's somebody needs to do it, right? Yeah, we just so everybody collects data. But well, that's not our specialty. Everybody, if you're doing fine, well, you need data. So you need to collect data. Hey, everybody needs to collect data. Anything else? What do we do as geographers? Different from other systems. We want to know why. Why certain things are happening in a certain place? Okay? Why certain things look that way in certain locations? Why some places are different? Why places are different from each other, right? Why people in New York or in LA are creamier than people from other small towns? <laughs> Why we see high crime rate in Los Angeles 
than in Montana. Sometimes in Montana, right? And why do we see so many prostitutes in Las Vegas? <laughs> why do we see the human that's booming in Los Angeles? Oh, right? Right? Why do we see the wall street is is booming in New York City, not in your age? We want to see the difference among people. We try to understand why, why, why. So don't tell that I'm collecting data. No, I don't want the data collectors. That's boring. It's because the, the person collecting data needs to understand the thing on the earth, right? So we want to know why, 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 and why, 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 in order to understand why. We need to know how the environment affects the culture. Because people's behavior are affected by the environment, right? Culture is affected by that physical environment. Keep that point. Keep that. You want to see how the environment affects culture, and then also you want to see the other other aspects. Who comes from the? You come from the environment, right? We want to how culture affects the environment. Why is there a result environment as well? Right? You are with my other environment originally, and then you got separation, right? So you want to do your own share, you want to power, like you know, a separate different kind of right? But you want to study environment. If you just go to the scientific, you have molecular, the, the, the pattern, how they interact with each other, the create such a beautiful environment. Yeah, but more importantly, when you look at that human stuff, it's not just the monkey to find monkeys. People are finding monkeys as well. We kill monkeys, we eat monkeys. That's why monkeys are getting fewer. Some species are getting fewer in the field and even extinct, right? But we need to see the relationship between culture and environment, both directions. Not just the environment, but over culture, over culture, over the one we Good. Anything else we do? Anything else? Creative, what do we do? As job of it, what do we do? Do like you like the job Right? Geography is what is not something in your mind a few minutes ago. Right? Before you step into a geography class, oh, boring, man, my teacher always asks me to remember the, the name of the capital, right? The population of the city, that's geography, right? And then you become scared of geography. No one choose geography. Oh, we don't. He is not for time to do memorizing activities. No, come on. We're living in the 21st century. We have the internet. Why do we need to memorize those foreign stuff? We don't. Right? We don't. We don't. Just Google. Ooh. What's the following? What's the name of the capital name of blah, 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 whatever country? Right? America. But since you're taking my class, you do need to know the capital of China. Right? <laughs> What's the capital of China? Beijing. Beijing. Right. Keep that, keep that, that. Where is my marker? Okay? So, Beijing. Beijing. And there's another bed. If you go to Chinese restaurant, what kind of dish you would like to have? Huh? What is that? Picking duck, right? You want a picking duck. What is a picking duck? Why is it called picking duck? Is it the same like this one? Or do you want to have eyes? No eyes? Just like that picking duck? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So picking duck. Big is the invading duck. <laughs> Why is it taking not Beijing? It's 
because it's for some foreign language when it's China. Okay? They taste it. Oh yeah, that's that's really good. Something? Taking that. Taking that? Taking that. Taking that. <laughs> okay, okay, you so you cannot pronounce baby. Okay, they come up with this taking that. Those two things are the same. Look at them, they're some form of jerk down. They couldn't say painting, they just say painting. And then that guy, he was the first one went to China, went to painting, painted, and he came and wrote a really nice journal. And it's funny. Whoa, everyone knows. Now China has a painting duck. That's it. And I'm sorry. <laughs> and so you need to know the text of the Taking that, you know, Beijing has really some really, really nice reference which will provide you the stuff. You cannot name it. Okay, we can search. I am not going to give you the pictures. Okay. Sticking away into the light, the crispy feet, one lift to the one thing. And then it flies the tender meat. Everything, right? <laughs> and with another place. And then they have bones, right? They have a neck, have the wings, right? Everything is eatable for Chinese. Okay? So, anyway, we go there. Here, you only eat the meat. That part we don't eat. So, that part is for the part. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we'll about China? You don't know how to write China, okay? Don't pretend to know China without a couple of Chinese words, the Chinese characters. So you need to know what it is. So mm -hmm. China. China. That's China. Here is what? Here it means shop. Here it means the duck. Is it? No. Okay. And in Chinese, we call it Zhong Guo. Can you follow me? Zhong, Zhong. curve your tongue. Ah, just a little bit. Zhong, 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 Guo. Zhong, Guo. <laughs> yes. We can learn some Chinese, by the way. We learn every day, we learn one or two. At the end of the semester, you will be the second grade Chinese student. <laughs> so we have Zhong Guo. Zhong Chinese is different. Chinese is very different. It's difficult to learn for most uh, not so smart foreigners. English speakers. But for smart person, nothing. Yes, you're smart or you're not too smart. English speaking Chinese dialect. Let's hear that. What is that? A little bit of there's lots of dialects. I never know, I'm just curious what some of this is. This one? Yes. This one is simplified Chinese. The two versions of Chinese, current one. Current. If you talk about history, the lots of versions of Chinese. But right now, the two versions of written Chinese get pronounced the same way, or maybe not. But every Chinese knows what we're talking about. If we put those two characters on screen. Here means don't means middle. So you cut in the middle, right? It's a, it's a, it's a square. Cut in the middle. Don't. This one means what? Kingdom. What? Kingdom. Kingdom. what? Kingdom. Kingdom. What is that? Oh, I feel the Chinese class. Oh, you do? <laughs> 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 that's good, actually. That's good. You took Chinese, so that's just something. You did That's good. You did not practice everything. You're smart. Okay. So this one means what? Means, what does that mean? What? So, in the middle. What means what? In the middle. Kingdom. Nation. Country. Okay? And this channel, I'm going to talk about China later on. So they don't, well, what becomes the uh, kingdom? In the old days, think about what China is long history. What becomes a kingdom historically? Physically. How would you know there is a kingdom in your family? 
Time is an arc. It's not time, it's not humanity, it's an arc. Okay? But see, how am I to write my name? You may wonder. Right now, what's your name? You are Yao Wang, Wang Yao. My name is what? My name is East Bay Sun. Okay? Right? Sun. Yeah. See? Sun. Remember that? <laughs> See some. See me what? Chinese. <laughs> no, me. So this universe is my universe. <laughs> say, See some shine. See, I shine. But I shine. That's it. That's the universe. Okay? So these space stuff. How to write my name? Those are two characters together. Okay? So E means very easy. What does that mean? One mark. One mark, right? Okay? And then, what does that mean? Huh? Look at Chinese tongue. Chinese tongue. Okay? What does that, that look like? What does that look like? A bird! And a mark. Who did that? A bird! Does that look like a like a snake? Does it look like a wing? Is it like a tail? That makes me look like a fly. I don't see that. I say, fly! That's my name. Fly one. Fly. It looks like a boy in hand. Land. We fly. Get out. Fly. No. I just fly one. Well. Okay. I'm in land. That's why I'm here. Okay? And then, the song. Song means what? Now, how do I write the song? And simplify Chinese that's like this. Sun, or more accurately, is called Sun, not Sun. Okay. But just for you guys, Sun, okay. For <laughs> <laughs> your convenience, it's called Sun. Or for Chinese, they call me Sun. Sun means what? Sun is a lot of big names in China too. Okay. Sun actually means. Literally means grand sun. Grand sun? Everybody? No, for you, I'm your mom. And those three can be, it consists of two components. We call it stroke or not stroke. What is that? Side, right? And this side means small. This side means what? Guy, small guy becomes great son. Make sense? A small guy becomes great son. Right? That becomes my name. The child is very cute. Very cute. He got great son. Anyway, so what we're going to talk about for today, and maybe next week, what are we going to talk about together? Strongly of this guy. We already talked about what we're going to talk about, right? Last time. So we're going to talk about the Chinese geography, the basic one where it is. You got to know where it is, right? Start with the where, okay? And start with the how big is it is compared to the United States, compared to many countries, you know, okay? And you know, how it differ from the United States, from the environment in Europe and the Midwest. And then we're going to talk about the China. Last time I asked you, what do you think about China? What do you want to talk about China? What do you want to think about China? What your mind? Right? And then, compare the perception to your imagination. It's a reality. That's your reality check. Whether or not those perceptions are accurate. And maybe I should get the one thing. Everyone, right? Yeah. You wouldn't be happy. They would be you do try to do the new media report. You watch the TV, read the news. Okay? Some are good, some are bad. Some give you more objective news, some give you very biased news. Junk news, I call it. Okay, junk news. Those junk news are toxic. Toxic. Very problematic. Very problematic. For your future, for the American future, for China's future. For the world, 
stone feeding those Gentiles. What do you need to do? Who did that? Who did that? Who did that? Don't do that. Try to enjoy it. Okay. You think it's important? Get out of this. <laughs> and then, after we talk about those things, I'm going to show you how China has changed. Why every time I have, why everyone is talking about China? Why I can guarantee you find something about China on major newspaper or magazine every day, every evening. Right? Why? Because China is growing in good. It's changing. Changing very fast. Surprisingly, astonishingly, people cannot believe it. People cannot take it anymore. So, we want to see how China has changed over the last decade. Of half a decade, of not decade, half a decade, a few decades. Particularly during the last three or four decades. I mentioned last time some students asked for me, I said China was in hell in the 1970s. One student, who read that question on Google? Who was it? <laughs> okay, what's the name again? Roman. Huh? Roman. Roman. Okay. And then another student gave a really good answer. Who was that? Who he really replied? Who replied to Roman's question? Raise your hand. China was in the hell. In the you did? What's the name? Victoria. Victoria. That's good. Sorry. Thank you very much. Okay? I'm not going to talk about it now. We're going to talk about it later. Okay? I'm going to show you some visual, eh? some change, some number, some graph, in real terms. Maybe you understand how China has changed over the last 30 years. Why people, that's why people are getting scared. That's why people are talking about China all the time. That's why you see so many Chinese students in this classroom. Where do you get the money? They did not get from the United America. They did not get student loans. They get it from their parents. How could the parents afford it? The parents got richer. <laughs> you know, working, hard working, smart thinking. Okay? Maybe through production. And hopefully, you guys don't come to so rich. Your parents will crush the office. Okay. And then we're we'll talking about what's the, what's the implication of a rising China, a fast rising huge China. What things are speaking for us? Why are they needed to pay What's going on in China? It's about the you. It's not just about the you. It's about you, it's about the you. Right? Why is it about you? Your job. Friend, you could bring it without a job. Because the same Chinese are spending our money, spending our job, that wasn't what you before we talking about. Do you believe it? How many of you believe the same Chinese are spending your job? <laughs> Don't bang China. Look at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> China is getting a job because many, many different reasons. Or Papua China has cheap labor, right? Uh, they have a comp party, good combination. That's why I told you a cheap labor plus communism. So let the communists do better. Let the communists take over our country. Then what we Congress just done, right? If they have a republic or democrat friend, let the communists do better. Is that the answer? No. Right? So don't friend, just to take the symbol. Say whatever, whoever says to you, it's the China is made for our problem. No, it's our problem. Look at ourselves. What's our problem? We need to see our solution. Don't rely on other people to give you a solution. Think hard. Right? If you keep saying other people, you always rely on other people's actions to solve your problems. What will happen all the day? Why, 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 why
from a purely known China and you may. Right? You can you know nothing about China. But you know at least China is there. But also keep in mind, China is not geographically big and hugely populated. It also has a what? A brief history? No. China has a a long, long history. A very long history. It's one of the four civilizations, earliest civilization in the human being, in the whole world. Okay? That history gives the country a sense of pride. That history gives the people a sense of community. That history gives people a sense of unique country. They're different. So many that China will form the American way. There is no way. Because China has a long history. How long is our history, my friend? How long is our history, my friend? How long is our history? 200? How long is our history? 300. Huh? 300. 300. From where? From the day of independence. So there was no history before the independence? No? Yes or no? Yeah. 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 Don't forget that. Okay? We have a long history too, but we just don't respect that part of it. What do you want we have only 300 years of history? Think about that question again. Think about the answer again. What is this history? We don't show respect to the people living before the independence day. Is that right thing to do? We talk about the early history. Very good. Fast of things. Okay. Yeah. Well, you get lots of tickets along the way. So the work fly. You're fly, you're just flying with me. So the thousand years of time and history. And then we come to the current. Slow down a little bit. We need to die again. So it affects us here. People were out of China. We knew out of the what thing on entirely China, right? That's where we're talking about the most of the time. Talk about entirely China. Particularly we're talking about that. Something called the reform during the last three seconds. What does that mean? Three seconds means we need to go back to which year? Now in terms of being cut off. If we go back to three seconds ago. What year would that be? 1982. Roughly 98. Can we do that? Yes. Roughly 98. 30 years ago. 30 years ago, China was completely different. I couldn't speak English. No, not a single word. I don't even know a single meaning of a single English letter. Okay? Most of the Chinese could not have life here like this. Okay? Most of the Chinese could not come here to study here. Most of the Chinese could not afford a car. Now China is the number one car market. Before back in 30 years, only a few government officials, the corrupted guys, they of the Asian looking Russian, you know, made a model. Or Russian model made in China. Only a few, very, very happy. Okay? Most of the Chinese family they live in poverty. Real, real poverty. We don't know what to call. What is poverty? What do we mean poverty? Here. Poor. Poor. How poor is poor? Huh? No house. No house? No food. No food? No job? No job? That's because home. Oh, yeah. That's the word of type of poverty, right? But the federal will give you subsidy if you are below the poverty line. What's the word in poverty line? How much do you make every day? Anybody? Any idea? Are you in poverty now? Twenty-five thousand thousand? I don't need to find out. You have to use it. What's the poverty line? Here, poverty really nothing. My friend, you are clearly in this country. 
bless God. That's what they thought. Bless America. At the end of every president speech, God bless America. Right? Yes. God bless America. God did not bless China. <laughs> God does not bless Africa. God bless America. That's why our poverty means rich in other countries. When is it only a hundred, only maybe twenty-five thousand dollars a year? It's, uh, it's for one person, eleven thousand, two people, fifteen thousand, three people, nineteen thousand, four people, twenty-two thousand. Okay, so one person, eleven, three people, what? How much? Fifteen? Nineteen? Nineteen thousand U.S. dollars that have become poverty in China. Seventeen Chinese, yeah. How much is that? Anybody know that? Mm -hmm. I, know, I think you better to check it out. Because China loans you money. You own Chinese people money. How much you don't know? <laughs> How much you own the, you their own money? How much do we own China? <laughs> Three trillion U.S. dollars, my friend. Maybe two. I don't know. You can find out. Normally, find out. Then how we own that? Maybe two trillion. One one dollar. Uh, sorry, one yen is equal to point sixteen U.S. dollars. So one dollar equals to one dollar equals to six point three Chinese yen. We call it yen. All R N C. What does that mean? People's money. Uh, People's currency. Yeah, that's 15 trillion. 15 trillion out of debt. That's what I want to know. Right? Yeah. So each dollar, each dollar converted into Chinese yen, it becomes six something. So if we let it rough, it will spend the L3, 20,000 in the poverty market. That translates into how much of Chinese money? 100. $30,000 for us, uh, not for family of three. Right? What does that mean to Chinese people? You are in poverty? Are you kidding me? I want that and poverty. Who hates that and poverty? Everyone loves that and poverty. Okay? What can you do with 100 Thousand U.S. Chinese yen in China. My Chinese very good. Tell me. You have two and a half trillion dollars. Huh? Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Okay. So what now? Times point six point two. How much we owe them in Chinese dollars? Two, six, fifteen, eighteen, fifteen, fifteen. Yeah. Point two, fifteen, maybe sixteen. Trillion. Sixteen trillion, my friend. Fifty feet away for what? Sixty feet. What does this number mean to Chinese family? How much a college student grade? How much they will make a year? Make a guess based on this number. Wait, wait, that's a four. That's our poverty line for three. How much a college student just grade like you? They have one year or two. You grade yours. They're the grade. They have to. They cannot become professional long term. Poverty rate in China is 353. Let me see that. I don't want to talk about that. How much is the right? How much is the right? How much is the right? How much is the Average or you know certain say average. That's a bit lower. Maximum. Maximum. Average Chinese student annual salary is probably I think twenty thousand. Chinese yes. Yeah. So our poverty line equivalent to how many college student salary? Six. They will pay a lot. They will fail in life. They, 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 they work 
we texture, you know, we, so we talk about the Apple store, right? Slow bastards in some time. <laughs> How much they pay those workers? Go look at that. Because that can cost the students. But from a civilized religious communication, you don't know what they are. You have two hands, you have two eyes, you know how to do the job. That's the poverty of our community in China. It's a luxury life in China. It's a poverty, of course. When you talk about the living cost, right? They feel fear, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like a let you up. Like the things you wear, how much you pay for your t-shirt? Yeah? Oh, $3. $3? Well, that's pretty cheap. <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, that's on sale one, I guess, you know? Right? Mm -hmm. On the, you know, the, the, the rest thing. Yeah. The, the, that's the rest thing, you know? That's the, if you go there, go to the, the department store, how much is your shirt? Oh, oh your mom pays for it. <laughs> how much is yours? Uh, 35. 35. How about your jersey cheap? I think 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I <laughs> So every, if you go to the department store, buy a shirt, how much would it cost you? Boy? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Chinese is one hundred twenty. Right? Is that expensive? No. Well, it's not. Twenty bucks. Right? Yeah. Two hamburgers. <laughs> right? Like that. But in China, there could be more expensive stuff. It could be a really service, service, three dollars, right? Yeah, I think you can do Chinese, maybe Chinese. Look at the stores, I can give you two. But meanwhile, you can thousands of Chinese to get the shirt. You can pull up. Okay? So that amount, definitely, you can live a luxury life <coughs> for free in every place. Not in those Beijing, Shanghai, those big places. Okay, big places you cannot have a luxury, but still you can have a pretty comfortable life with that. People. Am I right? That's poverty. Keep in mind, that's poverty here. God bless America. <laughs> so we talk about. The and then, of course, they were really scared of China. Right? Whoa, they're catching them really quickly. You know, they're right behind the Dutch and They're going to kill us. Right? And then when you talk about most of the some people saying China is a threat. If you read the newspapers, right? Chinese the readers are scared to kill us. They're going to bomb us. Okay? Someday they have a missile. Those are not bad. And then have some people go to Washington and bomb the White House, bomb the Capitol Hill. Some people keep the bomb the San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge. They become the terror. They become a, the center of the act of evil. They provide things to North Korea. They provide things to Iran, right? They become the leader of the evil. <laughs> So China, where's the future of China? How are we going to deal with China? Right? How are you going to deal with me? Who came from China? We're dealing with you next year. Who becomes a professor? Right? Some people say, you took my job. Why you come to my country? Why don't you go back to China? Go back to China. Get out of here. Right? There's some people who do that. There's some people who do that. Is that the right thing to do in this country? Get out of this country. Is it the right thing to do? No. no. Is it? No. Louder! No. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong thing. Right? So where is the China people? Where is our people? We talk about China in the future, you should think about our culture. It's about our future. It's not something I care and care about China's future so much, that's why I come here to take my class. 
You might have told her earlier. You don't care about that. You got me to see the people. I will tell you, my friend, be careful. You happen to be in a tough class. You know a tough country which have a series of meanings to your life. Two or four? Two. So those are the things we will talk today and the week. So we are going to talk about the geography. Look at the slide. I'm not going to use those details. Okay, we're going to talk about this. Right? In a week? Okay. We're talking about all kinds of things in geography. Not just human culture, physical, I was talking about the math, I was talking about something, but particularly geography information system. You can like a math, right? Are we still enjoying math? Do we? Mm -hmm. No. We don't. We use fancy tools too. Geography is not just about dirty, you know, soil, those kind of things. Geography is about a computer, you know, what else? Well, about the internet? So, what do you do? You try to take up with other different things. You use those tools to study the human, study the culture, study the human you learn. You learn the best. So, where in China, finally, we saw the kind of facts, we saw the how to write Chinese. Where is China? I don't have a word for that. Okay, we can Google, of course, right? I think he made it way, way, way there. Somebody in China was dead. Why would you stand your feet now? I'm sitting. It's opposite. Right opposite America. Okay? So it's right on the side of the earth. The difference is that here is a 15 hour difference. If you're in New York, it's 12 hours difference. 12 hours. How many hours we have a day? Four. Four. For 12 hours in half a day. Half a day. When we're sleeping, they have lunch. Okay? When we're sleeping, when we're having lunch, they're sleeping. So now, what's the time in China? So now it's uh, four. Right? We're closing, we're, we're closing the end of the day. And people in China, what do they do? Just to wake up, brush their teeth, get ready, and do work. That's where China is. So China, China, you know, here, you know, you know, here, you know the Chinese maybe. Look back to, I don't want to talk about those maps. Go, you have your own map. Go to the internet, find that. Okay, but you do need to learn Chinese to speak English. Right? Anything we call, which part of this, which one is it? Asian. Right? This place in call is called Europe Asia. <laughs> Europe Asia, Europe Asia continent. And uh, what, which continent is here? Japan. And the islands. And we call why China has to do the relation with Korea and North particularly? Because the neighbors. Why neighbors become friends? Look at your neighbors. Why do you have this relationship with Canada and then Mexico? Right? <laughs> Neighbors need to be friends. They help each other. Just in case some bad comes in your and your door, your friend can say, I'm here. Don't hurt my friend. Right? So you need a friend around you. Right? Well, China happens to stop and have a bad friend. China is trying to make a friend with Japan. Although they're fighting. They have been fought for a long time. They're still fighting. For land, for resource, for all kinds of religion. China, the China has good reasons, uh, religion with no places? What is this country? Vietnam. Does China have good relationship with the land? It is, but not really now. Why why the country is this brother, sister, why are you fighting with each other? Come on! <laughs> and then you have those kind of South East, South East countries. Go to your map. I'm not doing But China, I want to show you. China does have good relations with you. New countries, Thailand. China. China has good relations. Where is Cambodia? China has good relations. Okay? And with a lot of priests, 
Oh, well. Right, Vitaly? Blocker? Yeah. 